the second public hearing for fiscal year 2016-17 budget. It's uh, Tuesday, September 27th. Madam Clerk, roll call. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor Coviello. Present. Vice Mayor Ross. Here. Commissioner Jonas. Yep. Commissioner Watts. Here. And Commissioner Anderson. Here. Okay, if you would stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. visit. So by tomorrow morning, I'll be able to have a better answer in terms of 
uh, when they feel that they can come here and, and start and start doing additional testing or start the audit. But that um, establishing that cutoff date uh, is is the is the most critical piece right now. Correct. Thank you. Um, questions, comments? Yeah, I'm not sure I understand. I mean, the fiscal year is a set determined period of time, so I'm not sure I understand cutoff date. Um, there were some, basically some inconsistencies in terms of some of the, from, from the, when you had your 2014 um, um, CAPR, right, and the balances and, and the information that was presented there, and when they tried to compare or at least um, make sure that the trial, the trial balance and all those other documents and schedules were consistent with and matched what you have ending 2014, those are some of the things, the items that they need to make sure that we have all the information to make sure that we can do all the bank reconciliation that everybody's looking for. So we're getting closer to that, but we need to make sure that we establish um, the, the, the cutoff um, date for the prior fiscal year because that's what your revenue and expenses are uh, that you base your budget on. So they want to make sure to establish that. With the, my very small accounting background, that's kind of what I gathered. Um, we did find out that one of the representatives that has been working with us, she will be on maternity leave, uh, so uh, we'll, we will engage Pablo uh, more. Uh, he'll more. He will be more involved in the process as well. And uh, as soon as I know what the actual on-site visit date is, I'll certainly communicate that to you. But we, but we are making better steps towards where we need to be to close it out. I did let them know as well that we wanted to make sure to try to keep this moving as quickly as possible because uh, starting to, trying to start the new budget year early is uh, a goal that I have, and so I want to make sure that we have everything in place for us to really start the budgeting process earlier next year. Okay, thank you. Uh, other questions, comments? Commissioner Aaron? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you want to come up? Yeah. Thanks. I just want to follow up on what Chuck Ross. I want to follow up on what Sharon was just. I think, Sharon, to follow up on what you were saying, when you were talking about the cutoff date, so was there some uh, issue about uh, how transactions in the prior fiscal year were uh, reflected? In other words, there's, there's an overlap possibly. It sounds like that's what you're talking about. At September 30th, 2014. What I what I can say is they're they're not being specific in terms of what those discrepancies are or what the cause of any of those issues are. So once they have the information that we presented to them today, they'll be able to follow up and say what's the next steps in terms of either doing further testing if they think we need to do further uh, uh, testing, mm -hmm. or if they, they can just come come on site and start working on the audit. But yeah. they, have, they haven't been very specific with us just yet. Right, because it sounds what you're saying is that the um, the ending balances that were shown on our trial balance don't match the, the, the beginning balances for this And, and that's why they, they expanded the testing. So yeah. that's why we had to provide some information. I just want to clarify. That's what it sounds no, like. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't want to jump back. I have a right, real quick. But the question is, did, I, tonight, with the second, you're passing the budget tonight, right? That's yes. what you're going to be voting on? Correct. Yes. Okay. Then, then I should have got up and spoke sooner. Dan Samari, 1030 Northeast, 121st Street. I don't think you should pass this budget until the audit is completed. All right. Thank you, Dan. Uh, all right, Commissioner Harrison, you had a comment? Yeah. Um, we moved into the contingency money that was $10,000 for the code rewriting which has proven out that that's way less than what we could be using for the code rewriting. I would like to see that instead of moving, instead of having it in the contingency, moving it from the contingency and put it into uh, what we can do some more meeting and maintenance. <coughs> Over to that area. Is $10,000 isn't even close and this budget does not support enough money for doing the code rewrite, so maybe that's going to have to be for another year. Yeah. So yeah, and yeah. I think, you know, our medians need a lot of help, and I'd like to have that money moved over to the appropriate line item. Okay, what, what can you just point us to the page? Okay, the page, well, or I'm the, looking at where the money came, came from. And, it, and that, you know, that was from the planning. 
and to be moving it over to public works uh, to be for tree, you know, trees and stuff. I didn't look to see exactly where over in public works that particular line item, but it has to do with. Right now it's on page 28. And you want to move it to? Over for, for in the in the line item that would be for the median maintenance. That would be page 41. 41. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. So on that item, on Commissioner Anderson's uh, proposal, is there any comments, or questions? Well, it's a it's a, a very good gesture. I think it's a, a positive thing. Um, on the other hand, in the same way that ten thousand dollars is not nearly enough for one of those tasks, it's not nearly enough for the other one either. Um, but it, it's a good message, though. I'm looking at, and you're completely right, uh, Commissioner, it won't do all the medians, but it's, it is a start. And if we can go ahead and restart someplace, and then maybe next the next budget cycle, we could add more to it. But at least we're starting for something. Now, I don't expect any of this money to be spent at all on the budget until we know exactly where our finances are, including where we are now. And uh, I'd like to go ahead and get a you know, commission approval on this. Are you making a motion to do that? Uh, I don't know if we need a vote. Do we need a motion on this? Well, either or that or is to amend. Do we have a motion on the table? Yeah. Do we have to amend the? Right. Okay, I'm making. There's, there's a couple of items in here, so. I'll well, we talk about all of them and then the commission. Okay, so the next one was, um, for us, a community signage. And I'd like to see that move back to Public Works, and that's uh, item 539. Right. Uh, that amount? Twelve thousand five hundred. That's twelve thousand five hundred. Then irrigation repairs. That's five thousand. Move that back over to the same, you know, over back over to Public Works. Because the drought, eventually we're going to have a drought here. Now, all of these monies that I'm asking to be moved, I'm asking the manager not to touch them until we know where our finances are. Then the last one is to repair the shade structure. That's $8,552. I believe with you know, moving that back, but I don't believe we need to be spending that full amount. I'm sure our manager can look and do uh, other methods to uh, have that repaired without spending that full amount. But I'd like to have that money sitting over there. And what we don't spend on it, that can roll over at the end of the year back to our reserves. Okay, so you're asking for those four items to come from the Contingent. general contingency back into the... Right. It, correct. But with this revised system. That none, none of these are touched until we know exactly where our finances are, besides the audit, where we, are, where we know where we are at the end of uh, this fiscal year. Okay. Are there other comments on those four proposals? So basically, that's reversing the four pieces that we moved right. I thought we had this into yeah, I thought we I mean, We're just repeating the same discussion that we had last right. at the Except first hearing. Right. The only thing, um, um, it is a reversal. The only thing different was the 10. Uh, the $10,000 on the planning is moving that over into public works so we can go ahead and earmark it for the meeting, starting on meeting and maintenance. So why don't we take each of those and see if we want to vote on each one as an amendment. Okay. okay. No, we did, okay. I, I thought I was going crazy. We did discuss. Yeah, we did. Okay. I have a question for John. John, with this, um, Putting the, these amounts in the contingency, but having them, um, you know, labeled accordingly, earmarked for specific things, um, is that something that's legally binding? Would the next commission be able to, to do anything with those contingency funds, or would they have to be used for the purpose for which we set this? Well, it's really no different than any other funds in your budget. Uh, this commission, later on, or the next commission, um, can always do budget amendments and decide that with what their intent was, even if it's the same commission, mind you. Mm -hmm. uh, we're now going you know, to do a budget of that and, and move money. So, okay, with, um, with the, uh, this clearly shows that it would be a majority. 
Uh, but, but, this, but this clearly shows the intent. And, and, but that's true of you can take any department and how much money is in there. If the commission decides there's a need, they certainly can uh, follow our process for budget and do it just like any other municipality. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. So why don't we? Do you want to make a motion on those four items? Okay. I make a motion to amend the budget for uh, moving the monies back to public works, including the planning uh, money, as has been presented. Okay. Is there a second? The, I'm sorry. The motion is about all of the things yes, you just said. All four, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Is there a second? Um, Okay, no, no second. The motion dies. Is there another motion to approve? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. There's no well, second. There's motion to approve. Second, if you want to put for discussion. Sure. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm getting. There, there was already a motion on the floor originally to approve. Right. Okay. As is. So, Commissioner, so your motion was to amend. To amend. amend that. That. And Commissioner, uh, and Walsh. Commissioner Watts just seconded it for discussion. Yes. Commissioner Watts? Well, we can discuss. I have one thing to discuss, but it's not on those four items. It's on the, um, the code. But we should be, so we yeah. should be discussing mm -hmm. the issue yeah. that's on yeah. the table. So what it effectually is the difference between having this either under contingency or in the budget? There really is not, and we discussed this at the last meeting. We thought, I think we all agreed that it was best just to put it back in contingency. Well, the reason we chose to put it in, in contingency is that we decided not to commit it for spending yet until right. we got the audit. Right. And since we still haven't gotten the audit, it's unclear why we would now put it back where we decided to take it out from. Right, and what Commissioner Anderson did indicate that he would leave up the manager. You know, Knowing that this money wouldn't be spent pending the audit, but I don't see, I don't see why we would even assign it to something within the budget. I don't either. Um, do you want to take a vote, or, do, or is there more discussion? Okay. No, okay. So why don't we why don't we take a vote? Okay. Uh, Commissioner Jonas. No. Vice Mayor Ross. No. Commissioner Watts. No. Commissioner Anderson. Yes. And Mayor Coviello? No. Okay. Um, is there another motion or Commissioner Watts did you want? To yes, I thought um, as much as we all want um, to have the code rewritten, it will, as you, Mayor, have suggested, that it will probably cost us at least $50,000, which we don't have at this time. And, um, and I hope that we can continue to work on the code in the future, but I think that that $10,000, I wouldn't want to move from there as so much as I would like to, to place it somewhere else in the, the medians as much as we need more um, money for the medians. But I would like that money to be put into the reserves, into contingency, so that by the end of um, the, the five years when we are paying on our $350,000 loan and then can pay it off, that we may, um, start to make a um, some headway so that we can pay this that loan off in, um, as quickly as possible. So your request is to what? To move the ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars where? Into the reserves. Into the reserves. What should your market for reserves? Yeah. reserves. So it will stay in the contingency. For that. Mm -hmm. But what? I mean, it's currently in the contingency, correct? If you have a motion, we need to see if there's a second. Was that a motion, Commissioner? Yes. Okay. So I'll second that. Okay. Second by Commissioner Anderson. For discussion, but so my point is, it's currently in the it's currently set in the contingency. So what you're suggesting is something different. That it not be set, that it's earmarked in contingency for code. Okay. Right. So let's say no, rather that it not be earmarked and that it be earmarked for reserves. Got it. Or put in reserves instead of contingency. Okay. Other discussion. Yeah. Um, Sharon, <clears throat> is there a line item in this budget for? one year's worth of payment on that loan? Yes. Yes. All right, so so transferring this 10,000 doesn't do anything for the coming year because because that payment is already taken care of. Yes. All right, so, so it seems to me then that, that there's no point in putting it in the reserve for a purpose that's already taken care of 
since it's just for a budget for this year. So, so I would not be in favor of doing that. I would have been more in favor of the, the, the theory that, that Bob used at the outset, which I thought was going to be taken separately, and I was thinking maybe that's what Barbara was going to do too, but not for this. I think regardless of um, whether or not we can pay off that loan in the, at the end of five years, um, our contingency, our contingency, our reserves are down. I think um, we could just move that here and it would just be a little bit of a dollop that's swim pool sugar that would help. The thing is, it, it's ten thousand dollars that we need for one or both of the of the two purposes we're discussing, which is either the code rewrite or the, or median development. So we should we should really use it for one or the other or something, well, and, not, and not just shrug our shoulders and go yet another year without doing either of these two things. Well, maybe you should have thought of that when you voted for the dais. Commissioner Watts, um, <laughs> your your reasoning on this. Let me let me just so I'm clear, even though I, you know I second it. What you're, what you're looking at is because five years from now, we, we have no penalty on prepaying our loan. Yeah. And what you're trying to do is to build up some money yeah. so we will be able to start prepaying the loan five years from now. Yeah. And hopefully the future uh, commissions will start doing the same. Okay. okay, so there's a motion on the floor in a second. Vote on that. Any other discussion? Okay, let's vote. Okay. Commissioner Watts? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Vice Mayor Ross? No. Commissioner Jonas? No. And Mayor Coviello? No. Yeah. Is there a motion to approve as is? Yes, there is. Okay. It's on the table. Okay. Five right. minutes. So there's a motion pending on the floor to approve the budget as is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Roll call. Oh, wait a minute. Just one thing. When I was talking with the village manager the other day, um, we were talking about the um, proposed um, barrier being on 121st Street mm -hmm. with medians. And I don't know that we have anything in the budget for that, if we do have to build um, curbs and such like that. And I don't know if CIT, T, I always get confused between CIT and T and road funds, whether or not those could be used for that. But if it is going to cost, do we need to add something provisionally in the budget if the <coughs> road closure, the median closure does go through? And are you speaking about the opening on the 121st meeting yes. that we, we approached North Miami about? Yes. Okay. And my understanding was the Miami Dade Fire Department would only allow us to do that with um, bollards, mm -hmm. right? Not, not any type of permanent improvements? Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. that is correct. Okay. I think that since that it is a method of controlling traffic, that CITT and Carlton, yeah, you yes. recall that, yes. Okay. okay, any other comments? All right, roll call. Vice Mayor Ross? Yes. Commissioner Jonas? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Watts? No. And Mayor Coviello? Yes. All right, motion carries four to one. Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk, again, for doing a wonderful job during the budget season. We appreciate that. Uh, all right, announcements. Um, on Monday, we have uh, our planning and zoning meeting. Uh, that's Monday, October 3rd at 6.30 p.m. And our next commission meeting, Mark it down. It's Thursday, October 6th at 7 p.m. Motion right. to adjourn. Adjourn. Thank you all.